Well, Zan Claude, I know that you have done uh, a lot of uh, implementations and you have talked to a lot of hospitals. Uh, can you give us a few examples of our real success stories where uh, the implementation of uh, the, these technologies get a big return on investment? Sure, sure. Um, you know, we've been doing this for for um, for you know quite a bit of years. Uh, what I would say is very early on, it was you know early adopters who, who were yeah. sort of doing that in 2005, 2006. What I would say is now we're getting into this sort of um, situation where um, as hospital networks are growing, um, some of these technologies are starting to be needed mm -hmm. to be able to manage larger larger networks. Um, we've had sort of great successes o over the years. Um, the return on investment to sort of to make it more sort of mm -hmm. uh, more real comes from um, inventory reduction. Which, which <laughs> tends to happen at, at you know, sometimes a 20 to 25 percent inventory reduction. Uh, but you're talking about millions of dollars, I mean, for exactly, this kind of exactly. device. These are, these are not, so, uh, yeah, so the products we're talking yeah. about are products that could cost up to $10,000 a product. Yeah. And so that's a lot of, that's a lot of yeah. money. Um, reduction of expiration, uh, expiration mm -hmm. rates, uh, patient safety. Uh, which, which is alerting on when products are expired <laughs> and sitting on the shelf or recall products are sitting on the shelf. Um, or tracking products to patients, right? So, so um, and, and from a sort of quantification point of view, the ROI you know, typically is between 150 to 300 percent wow. sort of ROI, and that and tends to materialize um, uh, on an annual basis, right? It's a recurring mm -hmm. ROI mm -hmm. as you continue using the system that ROI keeps, keeps, keeps occurring. Yeah, and going back to a point you made before, uh, both the device manufacturer and the hospital is going to see this kind exactly. of returns. Exactly. Which is a win to win proposition. Exactly. Uh, well, uh, so as you look into the future, uh, what do you see as the uh, the future both of RFID or other uh, information technologies uh, that will be used uh, for the benefit of healthcare supply chain? Sure, sure. So, um, again, right, two, two things, right? Uh, RFID as an enabler for data what we're seeing is more and more in the integration of these data systems that sort of are fed through RFID technology into the rest of the ecosystem of the hospital, be it integration into the EMR, the electronic medical records mm -hmm. system, or integration into the material management system of the hospital. So more and more integration um, and creating, an, a, if you will, an IT ecosystem. <laughs> that you know, we look at as a, uh, sort of an ecosystem where data flows between all of these systems. So that's on one end. The other end is that's m sort of more looking out there in the future. Mm -hmm. Is um, is trying to see how we can leverage um, RFID, which um, which is, you know potentially present in every you know cell phone that we will have in our hands through the NFC near field communication. That same technology is similar to RFID, yeah. uh, and it's, you know it can read you know, an RFID tag itself. So how can that be leveraged um, as more and more healthcare goes towards the home and towards the consumer to track the supply chain all the way to the patient and to the home? Yeah. And that's, yeah. you know, more out there, um, but I would say more the near term is integrating these um, RFID-based inventory systems into the ecosystem of the hospital. Very interesting.